don't let your eyes deceive you. That's not a Borderlands MMO you're watching right now. It's Firefall. And even though it contains all the elements a great free-to-play MMO shooter should, nearly everything, from exploration to dynamic events and PvP, falls into mediocrity. So, what now? You've got a dropship to Copacabana to catch. Firefall covers its post-apocalyptic Earth in brightly colored alien goo, which is a simple but effective way of injecting color into the world. Brazil is a good-looking place to fight aliens. Combat usually benefits from fast action and using your boot rockets to bounce out of the way of attacks, but the battle frames that represent classes tend to play the same regardless of level. I spent much of my time as a bullet-spongy dreadnought, and I was initially drawn to the way Firefall drops abilities with better stats in much the same way a traditional MMO drops gear and weapons. But here's the thing. The stats never change the feel of the abilities themselves. They just make them hit harder or last longer. It ruins much of the fun of finding new stuff. You can switch battle frames at any time, but you have to level each one from scratch. Sorry, Firefall, but your repetitive quests were boring enough the first time. When quests are granted, it doesn't force you to sit still and read reams of text or nod through cutscenes. Instead, it triggers fully voiced conversations that play as you blast your next objective. Damn, Ares is here! Kill them all and get the stuff! As a result, you can enjoy the story even when you're in a rush. It helps mask the bland, repetitive quest structure that lies beneath. I thought for sure I was gonna wake up as his breakfast. Almost without deviation, Firefall's quests involve jogging up to a job board, then sprinting out to a spot two miles away to kill five to ten dudes. After that, it's time to sprint back. There is little variety. Sometimes you'll plant bombs, sometimes you'll uh, escort an occasionally bugged NPC, but after just five hours, the appeal of this design starts to wear thin. Dynamic events are fairly scarce, and repeats start to pop up almost immediately. How many times am I expected to fall for the same wounded bandit springing a trap on me? Forcing all that travel time running back and forth is one of Firefall's great failings. An option to focus on more than one quest at a time might have helped, but Firefall's heavily voiced quest lines prevent it. Even if you pay for access to rumbly motorcycles and heavy trucks to get around quicker before a quest unlocks them, it is drudgery. If I didn't have a paid-for vehicle, I'm not sure I would have wanted to continue leveling at all. That's the majority of what you'll find in Firefall today, aside from a couple of raid bosses raiding at what passes for the endgame. There's also a PvP arena you'll find at a questing hub hours in, but it's a smallish thing resembles little more than a neglected skate park in a tropical city. Most of the time, it's empty. Firefall enjoys a generally agreeable free-to-play store with convenience items such as experience boosts, cosmetic items, and advanced battle frames and vehicles, but the in-game currency drops far too infrequently to make acquiring this stuff for free anything but a soulless chore. And again, the fact that it charges you for a vehicle that makes transit time bearable is a huge problem. Firefall goes through the motions of presenting the features that you might expect from a free-to-play MMO shooter, but each feels like a rough draft. Lengthy travel times and repetitive FedEx quests spoil the attraction of its colorful tropical landscape, and a lack of secondary activities aside from the core PvE quest chains discourage the heavy time investments it demands. I had some fun blasting around and mowing down baddies with my Dreadnought's heavy machine gun, but in its current state, it's not a world that I would want to stick around to save. For more on Firefall, stay tuned to IGN. Brace for impact! Danger close!